What is the best exercise for seniors to improve their balance? For many people, as they get older, one of the biggest problems is their balance and their ability to walk. One of the questions that I ask my clients is if they feel safer and better when they're walking in a supermarket pushing a shopping cart. I call it the shopping cart test. If you answer that question, yes, I actually feel better, then it sounds like you're having a problem with your balance. So what is the best way for people that are having this problem to improve their balance? Well, the first thing you have to ask is, should I be doing strengthening exercises? So many studies, so many research articles have been done on this question as to whether strength training is really the most effective way of improving your balance and improving your walking. And the answer is that it's not the best way. Strength training is very important, but there is something that's been shown to be much more effective, and that's balance challenging exercises. Basically, anything that challenges your balance is a more effective way of improving your balance than just doing strength training. When you look at all of the exercises that are out there that are balance challenging, there's one exercise that stands out as the best, the fastest to help people improve their balance and their walking, and that's standing on one leg. To do this exercise, you want to find something that's sturdy and safe. I would suggest you use a sink or the back of a couch or the back of a heavy chair. You wanna put both hands on this and stand with both feet on the ground and then lift one leg up and shift all your weight over the leg that you're standing on. Then when you feel like your weight is over that leg, you wanna let go. Now the goal is to try to stand for 20 seconds without holding on. But for a lot of you, that's not gonna be possible. What you're gonna find is you can barely do one second before you put your foot back on the ground. Now, in all the times I've done this with patients, I can tell you that the reason that people put their foot back on the ground is because they're not shifting their weight over the leg they're standing on. This is why so many people shuffle and so many people walk with a very wide base gait is because they don't feel comfortable shifting their weight over one leg that they're standing on. So that's why this exercise is so effective because it helps you safely practice that. So you wanna hold on to that sink and put all of your weight, shift your body over the foot that you're standing on and then let go. Now, the first few times you do this, it may prove to be very difficult and I encourage you to keep doing it. Sometimes it takes doing it for weeks, hundreds of times before you see an improvement. But in all the years that I've done this, and I've been a therapist for 30 years, I've actually never seen anyone that can't improve their balance doing this exercise. Now, some people might actually have so much trouble with their balance that doing this is impossible. And I've certainly had patients like that. So I'm gonna recommend another exercise to you. This is called tandem standing. Now you're still gonna wanna use something like this, a sink or the back of a heavy chair or the back of a couch, something sturdy and safe to hold onto with both hands. Then you wanna stand with one foot in front of the other. So you're gonna be standing heel to toe. Then you wanna let go of whatever you're holding onto with both hands and try to balance for as long as you can with one foot in front of the other. The goal for this is to do it for 20 seconds. And once you can do it with the right leg forward for 20 seconds and the left leg forward for 20 seconds, then you're gonna be ready to do the other exercise of standing on one leg. If you're finding that it's too difficult to stand heel to toe, the trick is to put a little bit of space between your feet, maybe two or three inches of space between your feet. When you do that, it makes it easier. And then you wanna just keep practicing it with that space between your feet until you can make that space less and less until finally you're touching your heel to your toe. But the goal of all of this is to teach you to shift your weight over, your, over the leg that you're standing on. So when you do the tandem standing, the goal of tandem standing is to get to the single leg stance. 
I've done this for years with clients and I've seen how effective these two exercises are in improving balance, helping people walk more safely and fall less. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. In the description, I'm gonna put links to several other videos that might be helpful.